Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships, and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be, um, or to just once again, you know, help you learn more about astrology. So if you're interested in any of these things, if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs, definitely look into getting this book, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, written by me, edited by me, and designed by me, Lamar Townsend. So you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right, or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. Gay astrology, my experience dating gay men and bisexual men of the zodiac signs. Well, first of all, I'm a Capricorn sun, Libra moon, Virgo rising, Mars and Mercury in Sagittarius with my Venus in Scorpio. So with my Venus in Scorpio, naturally, I tend to be attracted to water signs. But is it me or are water signs like the worst textures? I find that water signs um, often are like the worst at texting, like water sign guys, Scorpio guys, Cancer guys, like Pisces aren't so bad, they aren't the worst at it, but they still do it sometimes. They're the worst at texting, I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? So that's an issue for me with my moon in Libra. I like texting, I like communication, you know, that's important to me. So. I tend to be attracted to the water signs, but um, it's usually not the easiest. I he was like super duper into this Spanish guy, this uh, Spanish cancer guy, and we kind of had a thing going on, but um, I'm not sure he was actually out of the closet, unfortunately, and if he was, he's bisexual, but he's currently with a, a woman now and I'm happy for him but it was like the most tumultuous worst thing ever for me like because one big thing was communication like he was the worst at communication and, and to me like you're not communicating like you're not answering you taking forever to text back is an indication that you're just not that into me and I would rather you just kind of say that than not say it uh, but what I find with the water signs is that they um, tend to be those kind of people who kind of just give you signals, who kind of just uh, beat around the bush in terms of that, in terms of not wanting to tell you. Scorpios, I find, will be upfront and honest. Cancer and Pisces are the more so types of people who kind of string people along. Well, I won't, I won't say that, but I've, in my case, you know, it's, it's more so kind of stringing me along, kind of not being upfront, not just saying it up front. Granted, Cancer and Pisces aren't the most upfront signs, you know what I'm saying? But I would just appreciate it, you know, personally. But, you know, like I said, you know, my chart's different from yours. But this is my experience with the water signs. But... I'm not going to hate on the water signs. I still have love for, you know, gay, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces men. And I think ultimately, you know, I'll probably end up, you know, in a relationship with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio man. You know, um, so yeah, with me being a, an earth sign, I tend to get along quite well with the earth signs. Although I find that a lot of times the earth signs can be a little bit inconsistent as well in terms of gay and bisexual men. By the way, bisexual men I tend to find can be a little bit of a headache to deal with. Um, because they can oftentimes be so conflicted, you know what I'm saying? And it's different for every person. Um, I have a lot of, you know, bisexual men constantly hitting me up or men who are kind of bi-curious or, you know, just trying to find themselves, you know, in terms of their sexuality of all, you know, ages, although it's mainly, you know, men under, you know, the age of 35 or 45, you know, but, um, yeah, you know, I find that the earth sign gay men tend to be definitely more consistent, more reliable in terms of communication for me. 
but um, even the, the earth signs can sometimes leave things up in the air, cannot define things. And I find for me as a Capricorn sun, it's important for me to define things. But of course, I can't define something for someone else. Like that person has to define something for themselves. So often I find if we don't have the same definitions <laughs> as earth signs, then that can often be an issue between me and other earth signs. Um, I, 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 here's the thing with me and earth signs. I often find that me and Capricorn, because of maybe I'm a Capricorn, maybe it can be a lot of sexual tension between me and other Capricorns, but it's like unsaid sexual tension. And maybe that's just a Capricorn thing. Capricorns are just like that. Um, you can feel the tension, like the sexual tension between like you and a Capricorn, but it's never like explicitly stated. That's something I, I find a lot of times with me and other, other gay or bisexual Capricorn men. It's like there's the sexual tension there. Often, uh, you know, I'll find that between me and Pisces too, you know, actually. But it's just, and I find that actually kind of hot, interestingly enough. Like, you know, the sexual tension, like, you can feel it's there, you know, and you just kind of let it build. Kind of the same thing with Virgo. Although Virgos are way more shy, I find that Virgo gay men or bisexual men are way more shy. You know, they, they tend to take a lot more time to open up, you know, kind of like Capricorn, a, a, a lot like Capricorn men, you know, gay men and bisexual men. Taurus men, I kind of have a soft spot for, and I don't know why, maybe it's because my Venus is in Scorpio, and Taurus is the polar opposite zodiac sign of Scorpio, but I find, and maybe it's because my moon is in Libra, and Libra's ruled by Venus, and Taurus is also ruled by Venus, but I have a soft spot in my heart for Taurus, I think if I were to ever end up in a relationship with someone else, it would be, either be a Taurus or, or a Capricorn, although I think I'd probably fare better with a Taurus because of the Venus in Scorpio, right? But I mean, Capricorn, Capricorn could be a Virgo, Virgo rising, but nonetheless, like, you know, I don't know. The biggest thing I've found with, you know, um, Earth signs is there being a lot of sexual tension, but no one really doing anything about it. And if someone, like, for example, if I push it, like, the, the Earth sign kind of just kind of stands strong, like, firm and doesn't push back. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of, like, you know, but that's the game of an Earth sign. It's like chess, so. All right, fire sign. So, like I said, my Mars and Mercury are in Sagittarius. So with the fire signs, it's usually, you know, it's it goes out quickly just as, as quickly as it started. Um, like I said, I'm an earth sign, so I tend to like things reliable and consistent, you know, deep, long-lasting relationships, which is hard to find sometimes in, you know, the gay world, especially at this age. Not impossible, though, not difficult, right? Um, fire signs for me, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I will say that, I, and I've always said this, the most compatible, I think, for me would be Leo. I kind of have a crush on my friend <laughs> who's a Leo. I won't say his name because I think he watches my videos. But I kind of have my a crush on my friend who's a Leo. And I've had flings with guys who are Leos. Super duper passionate, which is perfect for my Venus and Scorpio. Like, I love Leo men and Leo gay men and Leo bisexual men passion. Like, I love, 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 love that. It's It's exciting. It's refreshing. It's... I just love it. Like, I love the passion. And so I think if anything, if, if there if it were ever to be anything long term, and I say never say never, like in terms of those types of things, it would be with a Leo, for sure. Like, Sagittarius, I find, aren't as consistent, aren't as reliable, aren't as um, committed as deeply and as seriously as I am. Remember, my Venus is in Scorpio, so when I commit or when I talk about commitment, I'm very serious about it. When I like someone, I like them. I can be obsessive about it. I can be quirky. You know, I can be kind of clumsy about it with my Mars and Mercury and Sagittarius. So I kind of get along with Sagittarius g gay men and bisexual men on that frame. <clears throat> but like I said, goes out as quickly, just as quickly as it started typically with Sagittarius and I don't know why you know um and it's not to say that they're bad people or anything like that you know maybe just not the most compatible for me in terms of dating and love sex is great though like you know with a Sag it's fun it's quick okay you go on about your life but for me as a Venus and Scorpio I need something deeper by the way best sex typically for me is with earth signs and water signs so all right Aries by the way Aries sex with Aries can be awesome too um Aries 
you know, Aries is a very dominant zodiac sign, so the, the, the bi bisexual and gay men I come across who are Aries, I find, first of all, can be very intimidating for me, especially with my moon in Libra, like, they come across as very strong, you know, and powerful, which is cool, I like that, but at the same time, it can be intimidating with my moon in Libra, and then it can also be a little bit irritating and irking with my Capricorn sun. You know, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn can be very controlling and authoritative and dominating in its own way. So with Aries, you know, I, I never say never, but I find that they can be very hot and cold. Like, you know, either they're hot or they're cold. You know, there's no in-between. Um... Either they like you or, or they don't like you. You know what I'm saying? And I like that about them. Like, I'm attracted to that. But I think it's because my moon is in Libra. And I definitely attract Aries men, too. Gay and bisexual men. But I always know it's nothing quick. Whenever I find out they're in Aries, I'm like, oh, okay. This is going to be like a quick fling, if that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I have love for Aries. You know, they tend to be very hot, very passionate. And I love passion. Like, I just love it. Um, so I tend to be attracted to those types of things. Air signs. My moon is in Libra. So, uh, Libra. Libra men. Oh my gosh. I have such a thing for Libra men. Libra men, gay, bi gay and bisexual men. And, um, I love flirting with Libra men. You know, they're so flirtatious. They're such, um, and, you know, it depends on what they have in their chart. You know, um, I kind of have a crush on this, uh, Latino slash Irish guy who is a Libra. I think he's Libra Sun Pisces Moon. So okay, right up my alley, right? Like Libra Pisces Water. Um, we are we're always flirting, always communicating. He's always lifting me up too, like emotionally and like spiritually and intellectually. And we always have like the most intellectual conversations that kind of take a turn. I think it's because our moon and his moon in Pisces. My Capricorn Sun Capricorn can be a freak, and then like my Venus in Scorpio. But anyways, our conversations can go all over the place, and I love that. Like I love that about Libra. Like they are just really, really cool people, really, really cool, down to earth guys for the most part, who you know are great with conversation. Um, they can definitely be freaks, but um, they're flirty, they're flirtatious, you know. And I'm the same way. Like they're flirty. They're like oh yeah like they can be really flirty but then like at the same time they can pull back you know and i i like that i like that because i'm the same way um so i tend to get along actually really well with libra men as friends um which eventually turns into something more sometimes but um definitely sexual tension with libras as well which can be frustrating because it's more of a like a mental thing but an actual kind of sexual tension kind of thing although it can definitely be that way too Aquarius. Um, I've had my things with Aqu Aquarius. I've had my flings with Aquarius as well. And it's because I think, you know, Aquarius are ruled by Saturn and Uranus. So, so they tend to have that kind of earth element. They tend to have that kind of grounded, very serious element to them. So, but I find that Aquariuses aren't the most easy to understand kind of people they aren't the most predictable kind of people and i like a little bit of predictability because i'm a capricorn for goodness sakes virgo rising um so yeah in that frame and aquarius is a type of person who you can never really tell when they're on or off you, aquarius gay men or bisexual men at least you can never really tell like what their mood is going to be exactly you can never tell if they're going to want to be alone or if they're wanting to be you know social like group oriented so um but definitely super sexual great in bed you know awesome all that great stuff last but not least gemini um <clears throat> You know, Gemini is interesting. I've definitely, you know, Gemini is a sign that I flirt with. I've never actually hooked up with a Gemini or, like, anything or had, like, a thing with a Gemini. Mainly because... Nothing ever sticks, I feel like, with Gemini men. Um... I want to say I almost don't take them seriously as dating partners. And I don't know why, um...
I think it's because my Venus is, is in Scorpio and at the end of the day I need someone who's committed, who's like kind of like fixed, who's grounded, who's sturdy, who's consistent and reliable and Geminis aren't always that way. Great partners, they make great conversationalists, great friends, but for someone from me who needs something more serious and committed, not gonna work maybe. But, you know, for me, it's definitely, I find that, you know, I tend to be the most attracted to Leo men because of their passion, Libra men because of their charm, uh, Capricorn men and Taurus men because of their ambition, Scorpio men, can Scorpio men because of their mysteriousness, their allure, um, and, and because of my Venus and Scorpio. Cancer men because of their sweetness. Pisces men because of their sweetness and their charm and their imagination. Um, those are my absolute favorite, like, go-to zodiac signs in terms of dating and, and romance, you know? Not to say I wouldn't give any of the other zodiac signs a chance, or I haven't given the other zodiac signs a chance, because I definitely have. You know, but um, for me, I find that, you know, Leos, Scorpios, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, for me, are like top picks. You know, in terms of dating, you know, gay men. I like to say gay men, but, you know, um... You never know where you find love, and I think we're moving into an age where you just kind of love who you love, if that makes sense, you know? So, all right, this is my experience with, you know, my dating situation, dating with zodiac signs, um, and understanding it via astrology. So, I would like to know your experiences, whether you're a gay man or a gay woman below. Uh, a fellow gay man and gay wo or gay woman. Let me know your experiences. If you would like your own personal tarot reading or birth chart reading from me, definitely contact me or love compatibility, love uh, synastry birth chart reading for you or someone else. Uh, contact me on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Also, if you would like my ebook, Zodiac Sign Sex Language, to help you learn more about the psychology of the different zodiac signs and how each of the 12 zodiac signs psychologically approach dating and sex and love, definitely check out my ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, available now on Amazon.com for $9.99 and Amazon Kindle or on my website for $15. I will email you the PDF version. All information is on my website. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Until the next video. Of course, subscribe, okay? Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends and your family. And also, please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook. Purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?